Hello everyone, this is Imran Ali here. Welcome back to our channel and today we are going to talk about how to use TikTok as a full beginner. So before we go further, we just need to understand what is TikTok about. So TikTok, a task management, uh, task management app that helps users to stay organized. Obviously, as you can see over here, stay organized and stay creative. So stay creative, obviously you will find more creative ways to organize your things. And it is recognizing educators and uh, students with a 25% off uh, like discount on TikTok premium if you want to try that. But obviously we will talk about that later. Right now we are going to uh, go through the process of obviously registration. So I'm just going to copy my email and click on get started. It's free. Just click on it and it will take you right over here. So there are four more options over here. Google, Apple, Facebook and Twitter. You can sign in with them. Otherwise, uh, just write down over uh, like write down your name over here and email and password. That's what I'm going to do very quickly. You can use your password, anything. So I'm going to use it. Sign up. and here we are so as you can see this is our dashboard of tick tick so what happens now before we go further in tick tick we are going to explain that what are the things right over here like on the face you can see over here it's inbox whatever you are going to select from over here on from this section everything will appear over here and whatever are you going to select somewhere from this portion uh their details will appear on the right side over here so we will get through that and on the left side you can find multiple options like uh, task calendar view habit search and your obviously your account over here and notifications and this is something like obviously so now you can see that uh on the left side we have today whatever you are going to create uh for in your future and for like at the time you will end up over here and you can see everything over here like what are the tasks and notes for today you can find over here for the next seven days you will find over here and these are inboxes obviously you can see uh, these are pre-made and uh, that's why they are showing two over here you have your list over here you you have your tags obviously you can categorize different things as you can see over here it has already written over here and you can filter them also like list date priority and obviously tags are also involved in it you have your completed task will be over here and your uh, deleted tasks will be in the trash over here you have your calendar view if you want to see how like whatever you are going to do for your like task and you are going to manage that accordingly to your calendar you will end up and seeing everything over here otherwise uh, it doesn't matter you can find them over here also and you have your habit over here you can set your habit over here and you can search also right away so right now what are we going to do that we are going to see things from the settings so first click on over here go to settings and you will end up over here so at the theme menu you can see you can set your themes accordingly like whatever you want you can go with the gray dark theme and it's all all on you obviously you can set some different things and then smart list you can use that if you want like uh if you can see over here like all you have hidden that so you you can get this options also and there are only next seven days which i have shown you and today you can set uh, tomorrow obviously and there are multiple over here which you can open that it's on you obviously otherwise you can turn that that like turn that off obviously you can just turn that off like if you want to hide filters you can do that too so next thing is preferences click on it you have your features over here like uh, uh, habit which we have already opened and i have shown you that you can set your habit you can have your mini calendar you can have your promo timer it's all on you you can just set and you can just come over here and find multiple things over there the most important thing which you need to know that you can also back up your things and you can also import from your different accounts like to do is uh doodle edo and uh, doodle do and uh, iCal. so it's all on you you can also import that uh, from like outsource and you can also generate backup so let's close this so now we are going to create a list and to create a list what you need to do you need to go over here click on list and you can see over here plus sign click on it and here we are name it or 
you can change the icons if you want like i'm just going with this and happy r and for this only like for this tutorial base just to get uh like you get the idea what i'm doing you can set the color if you want like i'm going with this same color yellow and uh, you can set the folder if you want which is like to organize things right i have i have told you that there are multiple creative ways to uh, organize your task and your obviously your notes so i'm just going to say good times this is my folder and you can see on the left side we have our folder in the list menu and uh, the type what type is it you can set the task list and you can also go with the notes like you can just write in it and so uh, that's why i'm going with the task right now and that says save once it's saved you can see that we have we are at our happy art list and we can add tasks from over here like uh, go to shopping this is my task and enter that's it and as you can see you can add more over here you can just click on it this will be completed obviously and uh, you have more options over here like you can uh, view with the kanban which is very good what is kanban you can just like create new sections over here like did you go to your uh, shopping like uh, just write in progress you can add multiple uh, sections ahead and create it if you want you know it's all on you so this is the kanban view and you can go with this i don't know what it is you need timeline view uh for like to access that you need prime subscription but okay uh these are sort by like how you want to see them and uh, this one is obviously the normal one you can find more options over here which you can see and those are very like very generic so you can also print it by the way whatever you are going to create you can also print it if you want so if you click on this shopping you can see i have told you that uh, like every individual uh, properties will end up on the right side so you can see over here we have multiple options you can write description under this uh, shopping shopping list so you can write that you need to buy this and that and then and uh, you can set the due date if you want you can set the flag if you want you can uh, what is it this is view i guess and you can add like add a list under list so this is very good and you have your uh, style bars over here comment you can set comments if you want you have more options over here which are very generic you can add subtask you can even upload your attachment and if you want to like categorize this if you categorize this uh, particular and individual list obviously it will end up over here in the list menu so on the left side you can see that this is very simple so just uh, after that what you need to do that i'm going to create a tag so i'm going to create a tag so just simple way to click on plus and uh, shops shopping sorry shopping and same color and you can obviously you can do that what is pan tag if you have created from over here you can just link that right away so saved it and over here you can see we have shopping tags over here go to good times click on it go to bottom right corner tags and you can see we have our shoppings over here click on it okay so it will tag with our shopping uh, like it it has categorized with our shopping and whatever you are going to create multiple lists over here you can categorize them and you can put them in the tags menu and similar with the filters you can find uh, like filters over here maybe and uh, or maybe you need to create first obviously you need to create first and to create obviously you need uh so that's it this is all you need to know about tick tick and over here you can find that uh, upgrade now like you can click on premium and you will end up over here you can see the plan for annual and for months you can see over here 2.4 for the annual 28 dollars so it's not bad so thank you for watching this video i hope you understand how to use tick tick and this is all you need to know about TikTok as a beginner and thank you for watching this video please make sure to like and subscribe thank you and bye bye